4-H camp is a blast. I think 4-H camp is cool. The most awesome experience of your life. 4-H camp is awesome and really fun. While at camp, you'll take an educational journey participating in hands-on tracks like science, engineering, and technology, water safety, outdoor skills, nutrition, and much, much more. I think it was one of the most fun experiences I've ever had in my whole entire life. 4-H camp is life-changing. So 4-H camp is an amazing, one-of-a-kind experience that you'll definitely want to have. 4-H camp is awesome. Hi, I'm Jeremy Bonnet with the Louisiana 4-H Virtual Summer Camp Program, SEDTRAC. Coming to you today from Camp Grant Walker, Classroom 3 in the Education Building. In our previous lessons, we've looked at tower design and water filtration. In today's activity, we'll be looking at designing and constructing a model bridge. Right, so in today's activity, we're looking at the basics of bridges. Now, a bridge is a structure that connects two different points in a roadway that would otherwise be unpassable, uh, such as a river, a lake, a stream. And there, there are bridges all around us. Some are short, uh, covering you know, a bayou or a creek. Uh, others are very long, covering a, a large river or a lake. And those bridges allow us to be able to move from place to place a lot quicker and easier. There are different types of bridges, uh, arch bridges, uh, suspension bridges, uh, one of the most common is called a beam bridge, and that's what we'll be looking at here with today's activity. Now, in your activity sheets, uh, you should have those ready. If you will take a minute, pause the video, read over the quick explanation section at the bottom of page one and on to page two. There are also some illustrations of different bridge designs for you to take a look at. After you've looked and read through that, go ahead and answer your pre-activity questions at the bottom of page two. When you're finished with those, hit play and we'll continue on. Okay, now that you have your pre-activity questions answered, let's take a look at the materials we need for this activity. Okay. This can be found on page three of your activity sheet at the top of the page. All right, so for this activity, we need straws, okay? and you can use as many of them as you need. We'll also need some masking tape, a pair of scissors, a small paper cup, a meter stick, a ruler or tape measure, something to measure with, and glass beads that you would use in an aquarium. You can also use coins of any type or any other small uh, weighted object. Okay. Take a minute to collect those items. Uh, pause the video while you do that. And once you have your materials ready, hit play and we'll continue. Okay, now that you have your materials ready, let's take a look at the directions. And this is on page three of your activity sheet. Now, step one, we want to first design uh, the bridge model. There's a space on your activity sheet to sketch out your idea. You can use information from your quick explanation section to help you do this. Okay? So go ahead and pause the video, take a minute, sketch out your idea. And when you're ready, hit play and we'll continue with the rest of the steps. Now that you've built your bridge, it's time to test it out. So I went ahead and built a bridge um, already. And let me show you what it looks like. Okay. So for this one, I used 23 straws and about two feet of masking tape. Now remember, for this activity, we have an unlimited amount of straws and masking tape that we can use to build our bridge. 
So you can see here, very basic design for this one. Now your idea could look totally different from this one. That's okay. Let's go ahead and test this one out and see what it does. All right, so we've got our two boxes here. Okay. Remember, 10 inches apart. Right. We want to place our bridge about equal distance on each object where it's nice and centered. Okay. We want to take our paper cup and put it right in the middle. Okay. Now, here I have these glass aquarium beads. Okay. And one bead is about equal to about four pennies, okay. just to give you a rough idea if you're working with pennies. Okay. So we slowly want to add in the glass beads into the cup and see if the bridge is able to hold it up. So let's give that a try. All We can see that the bridge is starting to flex a little bit under the weight. Okay, so we've got our bridge that's holding one cup. And there are 50 glass beads in there. It's about the equivalent of 200 pennies. Now, since the bridge seems to be doing okay, let's go ahead and try another paper cup. Slowly add these in. See that it's flexing a little more, but it's still holding. Okay, we are now at two full paper cups each with 50 glass beads in it. So we're at a total of 100 glass beads, which is about 400 pennies. So that's gonna be the mark to beat because I'm out of space here. So with your bridge design, you wanna go ahead and test it out the same way. And we wanna try and see if we can beat 100 glass beads or 400 pennies. That's the mark to beat. So go ahead and pause the video, test out your bridge. After you're finished testing it out, go to the post activity questions on your activity sheet and answer those. After you're done answering the post activity questions, hit play and we'll wrap it up. Now that you've built your bridge and tested it out, what were the results? Okay. Was your bridge able to support your cup? Uh, if so, how many coins or beads were you able to put into your cup? Okay. Uh, was it more than what I was able to get with this bridge design? So we want to look at all of those results. Okay. Now, before we wrap things up, a couple of reminders. Remember that there are many different design possibilities with these bridges. We want to test out different designs. Um, think about the different amount of materials that you use. Okay. Remember, we use 23 straws and about two feet of masking tape for this one. Maybe try using less than that. Uh, maybe try building a bigger bridge than that. Uh, what other different materials could you use to build a stronger bridge and hold even more weight. Okay. So these are all different aspects of the bridge design to think about. Also remember that in your activity sheets, 
on page two in the quick explanation section, you have some website resources to check out. Those have uh, different ideas on bridge design, different challenges to try. Okay? So be sure to check those out. Also, be sure to take pictures of your bridge. Post those in the comments below. Uh, let us know how many coins or beads you were able to get into your cups. Uh, let's compare everybody else's and try to beat the mark of 100 beads or 400 coins that I set here. All right, finally, be sure to check out the link to our virtual program website in the description below. Stay tuned for the next virtual set activity coming soon. We'll see you then.